Good morning, everybody. I think I have this correct this morning. Good morning, stampers and friends. It's Friday. So hopefully uh, you'll hop on, tell me you're here, and let me know that everything's okay. A lot of people ask me why I don't do this, why I don't do that. I'm new to videoing and still getting my feet wet trying to figure this all out. And sometimes the, even though when I have it figured out, the devices don't. So <laughs> bear with me, okay? So today, it's hot today. I can't, keep, I can't keep up with this weather. So hello, Rose Ward, stampersdelight.com. And let me tell you what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showcasing the Snowflake Showcase. And I will flip the camera and show you all this in a minute. This is in black and white. It doesn't do it justice. This is the special that demonstrators can pre-order now. And if you join my team, you can get this as part of your starter kit. And I will show it to you when I flip. Um, if you are a customer, then you can get this on November 1st and you can pre-order it with me October 28th, okay? Um, a couple of things. I, my hours start early now, earlier, so my videos will probably be, be about 35 minutes instead of 45. <clears throat> oh, Vicky's watching a royal wedding. Tell everybody I said hi over there. Um, so behind me, you see this basket. It's over that way. Uh, I want to go into that a little bit real quick. Um, you know, this month is breast cancer awareness, okay? And hence my, let me stand up, my shirt from Avon. I'm wearing this for a very special girl. Um, she's a very private person, so I don't want to put her name out there and everything. It is a family member. She is dealing with breast cancer right now, and she is uh, the mother of three small children, I love her to death. Love you, String Bean. You got this. So what I'm going to be doing probably for the next year is I'm going to be doing some raffles, okay? 100% of the proceeds will go to her, okay, to help her and her family. So when I flip the camera, I'm going to show you what's in that basket. And this raffle is $5 a raffle um, or 3 for $10. I will be raffling it off live on Facebook on October 31st, Hunt Halloween a significant date for her so that's when I'm going to be raffling it off most of the stuff is um, retired but new okay so regardless of whether you're a demonstrator or not you can always use more product okay this is the first raffle and there'll be more coming up so let me flip the camera let me get started on stamping and showing you I'll show you what's in the basket after the stamping okay all right Okay, so everybody should see me. Let's move this a little bit. Just keep your comments coming. As you know, I do um, answer the comments. So again, stampersdelight.com. Um, in order to get into the raffle, you can go to this my, stampersdelight.com or my website and get my email. I will post my email on this Facebook Live. I usually don't, but I will for this instance. For the raffle, to get in on the raffle again, $5 a ticket, three for 15 I take PayPal credit cards and, <clears throat> of course, checks. So here's my hostess code for October. If you want to order, just use that hostess code. Okay, so let's get stamping. So I did an unboxing and I had a problem, of course, <laughs> as usual. So some of you didn't get to see the unboxing. This is the Snowflake Showcase, which is available to um, customers November 1st. And these are the two sets. Um, I, this, today we're going to use the snow is glistening on Sunday. I will use the happiness surrounds. The thing I like about this is this is an everyday stamp set and this is a holiday stamp set. So it's really a great idea because you get two. I'm going to show you some of the framelits, which of course are all messed up because I've been playing with them. You have tons and tons of snowflakes here. Hopefully you can see all those. And hopefully I'm reading that I'm on okay. Let me just see. Okay, Sandy, I'll, I'll go over the basket again at the end, okay? So here we have all these snowflakes. The reason, I, those still have um, some of the flocked velvet paper in them. I haven't poked them out yet. 
because I wanted to show you that. Okay, so let me put those back over here. So here's all the framelits you get. Mm -hmm. I think these two are my favorites, and you'll see why. Okay, so let's move this over here. Again, that's the framelits. Then this is the stamp set. The other stamp set I'll put over there. Then you have, you can order these great snowflakes, and there's two different designs with rhinestones in the middle, and they're flatter than what we usually have, so they... Uh, stay on not only stay on the card better, but it'll be easier to mail them and then oh I forgot to get bring over the paper. Oh, no, it's right here This is the flocked velvet paper So you can't see it, but it's um, fuzzy Just like the Santa's workshop DSP only you get two sheets of white and I'll show you a couple things I did with that so Again, today we're going to play with Snow is Glistening. On Sunday, we will play with Happiness Surrounds. I just didn't have time to do both, although I would have loved to. So let's bring in some of the samples so I can show you. And the first one I did is with the Santa's Designer Series paper, which is also flocked velvet. And then I cut out a lot of the different snowflakes and put those on there. This is Poppy Parade because this that's what the color is to Santa's workshop. It's a nice red color for Christmas. And then of course we got the Poppy Parade ribbon. Now this, this framelit here goes to the floral, um, the floral set there. Can't think of what it is, it's too early in the morning. And then again, I use the little green uh, enamel dots from Santa's workshop. Okay, and then inside I just stamped the saying. And the sayings go great together, of course, like all Stampin' Up! products. That's one of them. The next one I did a Z-fold card without the, the um, one piece. You'll see what I mean. Okay, again, this is the tree, which is a nice size tree. And if you notice, these snowflakes are green. It is the flocked snowflakes but what I did was I sponged them in shaded spruce so I just inked up a sponge and sponged them let me just show you I mean pretend inked up the sponge and just sponged them so you can sponge them to any color and then it opens up like this now remember a z-fold card a lot of times you're looking at this way and you have that other piece here but this one I did this way Okay, so you can make those snowflakes any color you want. And of course, this designer series paper is also in the holiday catalog. And then again, I use the um, enamel embellishments from Santa's workshop. Now we got a little glittery here, and I took the uh, golden fo foiled uh, cards and matching envelopes. And what I did with this one, I used the big framelit, of course, for the snowflake and a couple of the smaller ones. I ran it through the big shot. Then I backed it up here with a piece of gold glitter paper, glimmer paper. And then I put that white, the large white snowflake right back on that gold, but I off -cent centered it a little bit. You could pop it right back in there and make it like, um, you know, the eclipse cards that we do, but I wanted this off-centered a little bit so that more of the gold showed through. And then that's embossed with gold also. And then these are our fauceted um, dots. Let's see, I got them right here so I know the exact name. Let's see, fauceted gems. And they are in the big catalog. So don't forget these fauceted gems in silver and gold because they go really well with a lot of the holiday stuff, the holiday products, okay? And then inside, I embossed the Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world and a snowflake. So that's a little glittery one. This was actually the first card I did. I'll show you this one. This was with the silver um, foiled card bases. And what I did with this one is I embossed it in silver. I did the tree, knight of navy, and then I'll bring it up close. I don't know if you can see it. Then I spritzed it with our um, white, our white uh, shimmer paint and alcohol. So the whole card is shimmery. And then I added the, one of the um, 
embellishments there. And I put all the little rhinestones on there. I love to put rhinestones on cards. A lot larger one there and smaller ones around it. It just adds so much to it, I think. And then again, inside, I emboss the saying. The next one I use, the floral... Uh, I don't have my catalog. I'm so bad today. I should have had my catalog here, but it's the... F Anybody remember the name? Floral... You know the set. What I did was I used... This is gorgeous, I think. The designer series paper from that um, set and also the framelit from that set. For this one, I used the, the snowflakes and I did it in our glimmer paper. So you could see the glimmer paper and then our designer series paper. And then this is the, um, this is mint macaron. Great, great uh, Christmas color. Isn't that gorgeous? I like this, I like them all. And then of course inside, I stamped that one with the saying also. Okay. So I like this one also. <laughs> now this one, and I'll explain how I did this one too. This is with our glimmer paper. It's also with our um, balmy blue. This one right here, the snowflakes right here, is this stamp right here. And all I did was I used my stamp apparatus and I did one, two, and then off a little bit. So I stamped right across the border, then I flipped it around, and I did this border. And then if you look, our metallic white ribbon with the, the uh, silver on it looks like a little bluish color, right? Let me bring that in. What I did with that, and you'll see this is a little bit darker. Again, I sponged up using a re-inker, and I put a little in um, a little tub, and I used the sponge, and I just got some sponge, some ink on here, and I just went like that, and it absorbs into that ribbon. This was a little too dark, although actually now that I'm looking at it again, dark would have been nice too, but I saved this piece to use it again. So that's how I did the colored ribbon. And then, of course, this is the uh, one of the punches in our annual catalog. Here it is right here, our big catalog. So don't overlook everything in our annual catalog for the holidays. And then, of course, the inside. Now, the inside has the same saying, but I took the little snowflakes and stamped them off and made them a little lighter in there. So that is that one. And then... This one, I did white. I did everything white. I did the white card base. This is the thick card base. Then the shimmery white. I cut out a flocked snowflake with the velvet paper. And then a smaller one in glimmer paper. Actually, these were extras. When I did the snowflakes, I just did a whole sheet of snowflakes. Flocked and glimmer. So I had them ready to play with. And what I did on the shimmer paper is I just put the larger white one on dimensionals. And then I put a glitter one down there so it kind of offsets it and of course one of our epoxy embellishments just cherry cobbler merry christmas very um elegant not a lot on there simple and elegant and then i stamped on the inside this is from um the other stamp set that we have let me see i have that right here everything's so messed up over here huh there it is okay this is from our tags and tidying set Okay. Now let me show you the one that I'm going to be stamping, but I'm going to do it in a different color. Okay, so this one is using the large framelit and then this other piece that I love. Okay, so let me get that large framelit out. Where it is? Where to it go? It's right here. These two pieces are the main pieces. And I use the softly falling embossing folder. And that goes so well with the holidays. And I do see some comments or some questions coming in. And I will answer those um, as soon as I'm done here or after I post it. Okay, so this is vellum paper. And when you run it through the vellum paper, it kind of squishes those dots. But they really look like snow coming down. And then I just did two of these, one in the flocked white, one in the balmy blue. 
And then, of course, a silver snowflake. And then the sentiment. Sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. And then inside, Merry Christmas to you. I love this one. So this is the one we're gonna, I'm going to stamp. <clears throat> but I wanted to try a different color. So let's see how this comes out. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is, and I did a lot of stuff ahead of time, just so for time's sake here. Where's my other piece? Okay. So give me one moment. Let's see what we got here. I need my... See, I told you I didn't have this together. For some reason, I am missing something here. Sorry about that. I got it. I'm so sorry. There we go. Got it. I'm back. <laughs> My day wouldn't be complete unless I forgot something. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to try using Rich Razzleberry and our pink, uh, our rose color. See, I already did that one. So let's see how this one comes out, okay? After last week's video or Sunday's video using these, using the um, rose colored, I wanted to try something else, you know, something a little bit different. So let's put this over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put that there. I'm going to bring in my big shot and my vellum paper. And I'm going to put that right in here. I don't really care if it's straight or not. Snowflakes don't come down straight. And let's just grab my other piece here. Jeez, I really didn't have everything ready today, did I? Okay. So I'm just going to roll that through. Now remember, it's a thinner um, embossing folder, so you do need two pieces or two acrylic pads. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. I'm going to bring that back in in a minute. And then let me show you how this comes out. I just love the vellum paper with this. Look at that. Looks just like uh, snowflakes. Okay, so then what I did was I used um, glue dots. Turn it over, Rose. It would help. And I put the glue dots across the top. Now, these ones come in a sheet because they're leftovers from the My Paper Pumpkin. And if you saw the My Paper Pumpkin, um, November's going to be a really cool one. If you want to get in on the My Paper Pumpkin, just let me know. And if you need a demonstrator, just contact me. If you want to join my team, contact me too. I just did my first Facebook Live team meeting last week on Sunday and that was fun so I do do I am going to be doing team meetings so even though I live in New York and you may be in Florida or California we will get together okay so I'm just gonna lay that down okay then let's see <clears throat> this is the flocked one I already did and just pull some of those out here my brushes over on the other table. I don't want to get up and leave you again, so we'll just poke them out. Now, I will tell you for this one, I'm not going to do it for the other one. What I did was I ran this sheet through um, my adhesive we have in the catalog. The Sizzix um, adhesive, self-adhesive. When you have these um, intricate dies and you want them to lay flat, use that adhesive on the back. And I did show you how to use that on a prior video. So that's my one piece. Now I want another one, but I want it in the rose color. So I'm going to, again, bring this back in. But now I'm going to use my precision plate because it is an intricate die. Everybody does this different. I will tell you there's, you know, there's different ways to use these. This is the way I do it. I'm going to bring this up. 
Sometimes I do the framelit face up, depending on what framelit it is. This is just going through one piece of thin glimmer paper. So I'm just rolling it back and forth a couple of times, and I find it comes out fine. But because I'm doing a live video now, it probably won't, right? <laughs> okay, let's move this back out of the way. Now, normally I would take my brush and run it through the brush, but because it's over on the other side, I'm just going to pop this out. And you'll see it actually comes right off. Right. There it is. Get that out of the way. Using that precision plate works beautifully. Okay, so now, again, I'm just going to poke a couple of those out that didn't come out. Some of these are going to be hidden anyway. So, but I do find that adhesive sheets on these kind of dies work really well because you don't have to put the detailed glue or the Tombow on it. Okay, that's, if you put it this way, see what other ones didn't come out. Of course, I'm using my take your pick tool. Okay, that's good. All right, so there I have my two pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a glitter one down, white one. Let's see how I want to do this. Mm, yeah, I'm going to put that one down first, and then I'm going to put this one down. Okay, so this one, because there's no adhesive on it, I'm going to use the detailed glue. You can use Tombow also, but I love I love the detailed glue. You just want to be careful. Less is better, okay? I know, and also don't do it over your card. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people want to try to, and I'm probably one of them. You want to make sure there's a couple that didn't pop out, but I'm not going to worry about it for time's sake. Um, there's a lot of people, including myself, that you want to add more because you want it to stick. This is very sticky, okay? And it will work. And always close your detailed glue up when you're not using it so it doesn't get clogged up. And I'm just going to lay that down. Now I'll show you what I do. I'm going to put a block on that to hold it down for a minute while I do my stamping. For this, I'm going to bring in the snowflake that says sending a blizzard of, of wishes your way. I'm going to bring in my rich razzleberry. So don't just think red and green and blue for Christmas cards because blue wasn't a big Christmas card uh, color years ago, but now we're getting into the pinks and the purples. Okay, so I did that with the rich razzleberry. Close that up. Okay, and let me grab my inside. We'll get do that while that's drying. And oh, I didn't need to close it up yet. Ta-da! Okay, and the Merry Christmas. I love these these sayings with this set. I can't wait to play with the second set. I thought I could do both, but of course not. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring in one of the snowflakes that goes to it because I just love to do my envelopes and the inside of my card. I think that's all the stamping I need to do here. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside just for a second. This should be pretty well dried. Now this one, the flocked one, I have the adhesive on it, so it's already sticky. So I'm just going to pull that off. And again, when I use uh, framelits like this that have a lot of pieces, I use one sheet and do a whole whoop, do a whole sheet. So this way, I have extras like this, which I haven't popped off yet. Make sense? And I'm just going to lay that white one right over it. So it also kind of helps keep it down. A little piece that didn't come off here. Let's just pick him back up. Little piece that just didn't want to come off. Let me lift him back up and find where that stopped. All right, let me use my pick tool and figure out which piece didn't come off. One of these, that's sticky. This little piece right up here, there it is. Sometimes these little edges can be a pain. 
And if I can't get it off, I'll just do it later. Okay. There we go. So we're just going to lay that down like that. Then I'm going to bring in the one I already did and lay it right over there. Again, um, I, for this, I wouldn't use the, use the detailed glue because there's a lot of layering. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take a bunch of dimensionals and probably three of them would fit right back there. Actually, I know three of them will fit back there. I throw everything on the floor and I'm just going to place that right in the middle. Somebody asked me why I stamp backwards. Well, I'm stamping facing me and then I'm showing you the card, but there is that other program that I used, which I may go back to so that you actually see it from this angle. Still playing a work in process people. Okay. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in my saying I'm going to put in put some dimensionals on that the middle dimensional is going to help me with this rose colored th thread which you may not see close up but you'll see it on the card when, if you were looking at it and I'm just wrapping this around my fingers a couple of times like this I'm going to cut it off I'm going to pinch it in the middle, and then I lay it down right on that dimensional. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of the card. That's nice just like that, right? But then what I'm going to do, just to give it a little bit more oomph, I'm going to take my blends, my Rich Razzleberry blends. I'm going to color a couple of rhinestones. Actually, I'm going to do a couple more. Okay, just add a little color to that. Then I'm going to lift them off. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one there. It really shows up on the white. Can everybody see that? Yep. Okay, I'm going to put one right here. And then I got three left, so I'm going to do... Get it off my finger. One, two, three. And I'm going to take my fast fuse because we have it back for a while. You can still get the refills on the clearance rack. And I am going to place that inside. And there's my card. Okay. So don't just think red and green for Christmas or blue. There's the card. Now let me show you the one I did ahead of time because it is a little bit different. I do like to show you different ideas. This one, basically the same card, but instead of that glitter, glimmery rose in the background, it's got another piece of the rich razzleberry. So again, here's the two cards, just a little bit different. Real quick, I'm going to bring in the other cards and then I'll tell you about the basket again. So this was the one that I did earlier, I showed you earlier with the flocked paper background and the flocked um, snowflakes. This is the white elegant one that I liked. I like them all. <laughs> this is my double Z fold. This is the gold with the off-centered snowflake. This is the Knight of Navy with the spritzer and the embossing. And you'll, if you rewatch this, you'll see him again at the, this is another one of my favorites. Okay, this is using the, um, also the floral, floral phrases, was it? Uh, I still can't remember, it's too early in the morning. And that designer series paper. And then, of course, this one. 
So I hope you like the cards and I hope, oh, forgot the blue one. Oh my goodness, how could I forget the blue one? I love the blue too. I actually was gonna do it in mint macaron, mint macaron, but then I decided to do this color instead. So I might have to try the mint macaron just to see how it comes out. So I hope you like the cards this morning. Um, give me one moment and I'm going to pick the winner for the, uh, for the other day when you shared my videos, but let me show you what's in the basket. So again, the, um, this is for a raffle, $5 a ticket, three for $10. This is going, this raffle is to help offset some costs for a dear person, young mother that is going through breast cancer right now and we're gonna help her. And to all of you out there that know somebody that has dealt with breast cancer or any other cancer or is a survivor, um, we got to do something about this. We have to find a cure for this. Okay. So here's what you're going to get in if you win this and not the basket and I will be shipping it to for free. So some, uh, glitter enamel dots. These, some of these are retired products, but again, they're all new, never used. We got some Baker's twine. We've got some gold, the larger gold sequins. We got some more Baker's twine. We got some more Baker's twine. We have this stamp set with the matching embossing folder. Okay. We have this stamp set, uh, World's Best Trophy, which has mother, father, brother, teacher, godson, mom, cut, coach. So this is a great little set. There's like 50, there's 53 stamps in here. These, this is photopolymer. It's brand new. We have a beautiful peacock celebration stamp set brand new never used we have the glimmer paper from the myths and magic six by six three different colors brand new we have some uh three packages of six by six um envelopes we used to sell which we no longer have so there's probably about 30 envelopes okay we have vellum envelopes six and a half by six and a half that we're never, uh, that we don't have anymore. We have some designer, uh, I'm sorry, some uh, cardstock. It is left, these are leftovers, you know, but they're brand new and I figured it's a great way to do a raffle and um, try to, you know, help her out. So this is um, Emerald Envy. This is Sugar Plum. What else do we have? We have designer series paper. The one dashing, what is it? Uh, dashing along designer series paper, which is now retired. We have, are you ready? Springtime foils, which everybody loved in the uh, catalog last year, celebration catalog. We have the uh, foil frenzy designer series paper. And a real oldie but goodie was the... Um, Presto Patterns Designer Series Paper, all white, very elegant from a few years ago. All of this, Stampers, you can win with a $5 raffle ticket. You can send it to me via mail. You can um, use your PayPal account, my PayPal account, your credit card, debit card. $5 raffle. $10 gets you three raffles, getting all of this. One lucky winner is going to get all this. I'm going to ship it for free. Let me just flip the camera back up. Thank you. Okay, so again, that is for my uh, niece who is going through some uh, treatments right now. And if you want to get in that raffle, it will be going on until... Um, October 31st. October 31st, one lucky winner is going to receive all of that, and I will ship it for free. Okay, so I hope, again, you like the cards today. Yay! I have to show you a couple more. The same ones, but I just love them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day, a great Friday, a great weekend. I'll be back here on Sunday at 7 p.m. to show you what I do with um, Happiness Surrounds. Okay, so happy stamping, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.